How Colloidal Silver Kills Bacteria Yes, size does matter. Bacteria is all around us, and yes, if I were the size of a silver ion, this scale is correct. Some bacteria are good, and some are bad. Nearly 99% of the good gut flora in your stomach are anaerobic, meaning they do not need oxygen to survive, unlike the bad bacteria, which are aerobic, meaning they need to create oxygen in order to survive, and this is key. The second important ingredient to why colloidal and ionic silver are such wonderful antibacterial and antiviral solutions is size. And yes, folks, size does matter. It is the small nanometer size of the silver ion that is able to suffocate the enzyme that the bad bacteria and virus use to create oxygen. And unlike prescription antibiotics that are toxic and can have side effects, colloidal silver and ionic silver are, from my experience, completely harmless. In the diagram, you can see the different nano sizes of bacteria and virus. Some bacteria are 1,000 nanometers, and the biggest virus is smaller than the tiniest bacteria. A human red blood cell is 10,000 nanometers, and a silver ion made by the silver lungs generator is, on average, 8.4 nanometers and can be as small as 1.9 nanometers, and this is the smallest I found. Your body fights bad bacteria using white blood cells. You can watch as a white blood cell chases down a parasite. Dr. O'Reilly will explain the next clip. Hi, this is Dr. O'Reilly with another plaque sample showing an unusual um, situation here with white blood cells in this sample. What I wanted to show you is this white blood cell in particular where you have two nucleus inside the white blood cell instead of the usual three nucleus and that tells me that this white blood cell is starting to deteriorate and die. The reason why is that this cell is lined as I'm pointing out with the arrow here is lined with bacteria. These are actually bacteria along the cell wall or the outside membrane of this white blood cell. And this actually happens in, this is a direct sample from a patient's mouth. So this is actually happening live where these bacteria are attaching and boring into this white blood cell to eventually kill it. So these are other manifestations of white blood cells in various shapes. Um, this one is pretty much dead. It's got a couple of nucleuses inside. This is an old one as well. You kind of see a little bit of filaments along the edge. And this one down here, um, which doesn't really have any healthy nucleus inside of it. So this is what happens with your white blood cells inside your mouth when you have certain bacteria in place underneath your gums. This is what causes gum inflammation and gum disease. So now you have a bacterial or viral infection. The key is to target the problem area, topically with an ionic silver, also for the nose, eyes, ears, and mouth, and can be nebulized for the lungs. Internally, a true colloidal silver is most effective as it is not affected by the hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Internally or ex externally, the process is nearly the same. Let's say you cut your finger and it gets infected. You spray ionic silver on it and then the magic starts. Ionic silver has a slight positive charge, so it automatically seeks out the negatively charged bacteria, virus, or fungus. Millions and millions of super tiny silver ions have found their quarry and kill the bacteria by suffocating the enzyme they use to create oxygen without any toxicity. The bacteria die-off is discharged naturally. If you are severely ill and take an enormous amount of colloidal or ionic silver, you may temporary, temporarily uh, feel ill, kind of like the flu, and this is due to the Herxheimer's effect. You can look it up. H-E-R-X-H-E-I-M-E-R, -E -E Herxheimer. Again, here is where size matters. PPM, or parts per million, is described as one PPM is equivalent to one milligram of something per liter of water. If I say I have one part per million, but that part is the size of a cannonball, and I only have one, that is not as effective as taking that cannonball 
and smashing it down into, say, 10,000 BBs. I am not a doctor and only provide this information based on my own research and observations. If you are ill, you should visit your doctor. Stay safe. Stay well.